The mountain called me. I didn't have a choice. Life had been flashing by in a series of bright lights. And I'd been stuck. Searching, but never reaching. Even the music I was making, fueled by electricity and networks. But over the last weeks, I'd been playing a certain song over and over. A song that took me back to acoustic roots. A song that I knew could only be performed where the mountain had called me to. So I embarked on a journey to a mystical place, to a land far, far away. I awoke. Excitement brewing, I looked out over the balcony and in the distance saw the promised land. But first, breakfast. Ah, fresh coffee. And a Spanish ham sandwich from the finest pig. And I was on my way. I literally feel like Bilbo Baggins. I'm going on an adventure. So I've just left Olot. I'm entering La Garrocha. This is a huge natural area featuring dense forests, cobbled villages, and dozens of towering ancient volcanoes. It was rustic countryside, perfect for a musical wanderer to get lost in. But there was a problem. I'm very, very quickly realizing that this setup right here is not gonna work. Both of my arms are so tired already. I might have to do what I never thought I'd have to do. Yeah, boy. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing, but uh, you know, who gives a fuck? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Spring was in full bloom. And the world awaited. My first stop was an enchanted forest called Fajeda de Njorda. Fajeda de Njorda. What is that? There you go, guys. We have some proof. Artificial intelligence is officially ruling the world. In the middle of rustic Catalonia, there is literally a robot mowing the lawn. Hello. So I think, more or less, this is it. And it's beautiful so far. Definitely getting spring vibes. Apparently the reason this forest is special is because the soil here is volcanic, meaning it has uh, especially rich amount of minerals and other properties that other types of soils might not have. So apparently that makes for quite a unique habitat and set of species that live here. As I ventured deeper into the forest, the aroma of wet moss and leafy earth mixed into the fresh mountain air. I felt renewed. Feeling nothing short of absolute connection to everything and anything that surrounds me. All right, it looks like I'm actually coming out of the forest right now. I'm headed towards a restaurant that I heard about. It's supposed to be top notch. So I'm gonna see if I can get some lunch there. Cause I'm starving. Hunger. 
began as a gentle rumbling, which quickly became a primitive urge, driving me to the edge of madness. I had to do that. I'm sorry. Oh man, there is nothing like a solo adventure. It's this crazy feeling of like absolute freedom. Once you kind of get over the uh, slight loneliness of it, man, once you get into the flow, it's just ultimate like liberation. Especially when you're in a beautiful place like this. Right, I actually have no idea where I'm going now. I'm gonna take this footpath that goes more or less in the right direction. See if that takes me there. I think we found it. I believe that right there means food. And that's good, because I'm famished. Well, I went Oh. Aquí o dentro? Dentro, mejor que. Sí, no? Si es posible, sí. I found a humble man welcoming me into his abode. Offering me Catalan wine and a fine menu. I love it in these places, they just like, when you ask for a glass of wine, they also just bring you the whole bottle. So I'm kind of eyeing this one up right now, thinking whether it's a good idea to drink it all or not. I was served delicately stuffed potatoes. Beans from the volcanic earth of Santa Pau. And roast duck, complemented with caramelized pears. It was delicious. I desperately tried not to drink the entire bottle of wine. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo es mi cobras, por favor? Sí, mi pan. Servido. All right, here we go. I'm feeling fantastic. Smashed a bottle of wine. It was like two thirds of a bottle. I also asked the lovely lady for a cheeky little shot of uh, digestive. There's the restaurant. Oh. Highly recommended, Restaurant Masno. The volcano was looming closer. Black rock littered the ground, signs of eruptions dating back 11,000 years. Dense forest had grown thick on its crust, and the only way was up. My quest was coming to its peak. If I'm not wrong, man, this is it, look at it. I had arrived. This is where the mountain had called me to. Yeah, I made a post, I made an Insta post here when I came here four years ago, during a time in my life where I was feeling particularly lost. And I did this same little journey. <laughs> kind of the same route that I just did today. And I found that, yeah, doing that little solo trip four years ago really helped me find a bit of direction and make some key decisions in my life. And crazily enough, one of the things I wrote down from that little experience was like, I need to do music. And I didn't know exactly then that I needed potentially to only do music or do music properly. But definitely during that period, I did write down that I needed to start doing more music and to take music a bit more seriously. So it's pretty cool to come here four years later with an EP that's gonna come up very soon at the end of this month. And now to uh, set up and play a little cover here on the acoustic guitar, it's, um, yeah, it feels, uh, feels like some full circle stuff happening. All right, here we are. This is a song by Bob Dylan 
It's called Don't Think Twice, It's Alright. I really love it. I think it has this really nice kind of traveling, traveling on lone wolf kind of feel, which I thought was quite suitable for an adventure like this. So here it goes. <laughs> side of the road and I'm wishing there was something you would do or say to try and make me change my mind and stay we never did too much talking anyway but don't think twice cause it's alright And calling out my name, girl Like you've never done before And there ain't no use In calling out my name, girl I can't hear you anymore And I'm thinking and wondering Walking down the road I once loved the woman a child told I gave her my heart But she wanted my soul But don't think twice Cause it's alright And so long, honey babe Where I'm bound I can't tell is just too good a word, babe So I'll just say fairly well And I ain't saying you treated me unkind You could have done better, but I don't mind You just kind of wasted my precious time But don't think twice, cause Think twice, cause it's alright. And don't think twice, cause it's alright. And don't think twice, cause it's alright. So the day is coming to an end. It's about 7:30. And Still have four kilometers to get to the nearest village, which is called Santa Pal. Problem is, is that I forgot to book anywhere to stay there. And I'm going to signal. So I don't think I'd be as worried about this if, it, if I was going into like a bigger town or city. Obviously, you just find a place wherever. But this is tiny. This town is tiny and I'm just worried if there's even gonna be like normal hostels or like places to stay, let alone ones that have availability or ones that are open during a semi off season, so. The darkening forest added to my worry of not finding shelter, but I couldn't help notice the glimpses of gold as the setting sun cast its soft light on the rolling hills. 
like pulling myself away from stopping right now and taking this all in. Because <laughs> I want to find a bed. Enveloped by the pastel beauty of dusk, I was driven into a feeling of pure aliveness towards the single purpose of that moment. Guys, if you want to find motivation, if you want to find primal drive, don't have anywhere to sleep. It's going to give you unlimited energy. Woo! Better than drugs, kids. All right, I think this is it. I think we have found the town. sign for a place that said there were some rooms this way. Man, this place is so quiet. It's crazy. Oh, this is hostel. Shit. Dan cat means closed in Catalan. That's not good. Okay. Another hostel. Please, please, please. Shit, this is closed. I'm gonna give them a call. Oh, I hope they pick up. ¿Qué tal? Uh, mira, ¿tenéis un, por casualidad, una habitación para hoy? Sería muy agradecido. No. Estoy afuera, estoy abajo. Ok, sería genial. Ok. Nice lady, her son's gonna come now. Apparently show me a room. Ah, oh, thank God for that. I got lucky. After the adventure, there was a bed to sleep in. Okay. They had some other lodging, just a short drive away. The owner's son had lived in Santa Pau his entire life. I'm from Inglaterra. Very well. Five years I lived in Barcelona. And I took a bus to Olot. And you were here walking? Yes. Thank you very much. How are you called? I'm Damian. Damian. Damien. Ah, Damien. Damien. Y catalán Damien. Damien, ok. Te ha encantado, eh? Muy bien. Si estás de Barcelona, has ido en el campo del Barça, ¿no? No, de hecho no, nunca. ¿No has ido en el campo del Barça, perro? No soy mucho de fútbol, la verdad. Eh, es igual. Es muy bonito, eh. Tengo que ir, ya, ya, ya. Yo he ido al campo del Barça, pero nunca he ido a la Sagrada Familia tampoco, eh. Vale, hasta mañana. Nos vemos. Chao, Damien. Vale. There you go. It is the simple pleasures. Found a room. <laughs> Woo. I'm gonna end the vlog there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Check out my stuff on Spotify if you haven't already. Tom Norman, just give that a little search. I should appear. And also, go ahead and follow Tom's.tracks on Instagram to follow the musical journey. All right, guys, until next time. See you later. Bye-bye.